Hey man, what are you editing? Oh, just this interview, man. It's taking forever. Have you ever just tried to sync up your clips? You can do that? Yeah, man. It takes like two seconds. Here. There. I, I could have saved so much time if I knew this earlier. So much precious time. What could I have done with all that time? That I'll never get back. I could have traveled the world. What if life could have looked different? What's going on everybody? It's Dyson back with Subtle Cinematics and today we're going over four tips for editing interviews. These same principles can be applied to every editing software. I just happen to use Final Cut Pro, so we're just gonna show you in there. So tip number one is to sync your clips together through your editing software automatically so that you don't spend unnecessary time trying to match up clips and match up audio. In Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how that's done. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Final Cut Pro. You're gonna drag in all of your clips. That would be your different camera angles from your interview as well as your audio. You're gonna grab your audio as well as you're gonna grab your camera angles. So we have two different camera angles. So you're gonna right click and just hit synchronize clips. So you can name this whatever you want. Boom. Once you've synced up those clips, it's gonna create its own sequence. And you can just drag and drop that sequence right into your timeline. You're gonna double click on that. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up your camera angles as well as your audio. So obviously we're gonna mute our camera angles and just have our good audio. Tip number two is to make sure that you're using B-roll to hide cuts so that it's seamless talking and you can easily hide any ums or mistakes that might happen. So as you guys can see here in this timeline, you can see I have a ton of B-roll and what this does is it helps build to the story because it's supporting visuals with the audio. There's a ton of cuts in the audio and in order to hide that, I need to basically pull in some B-roll that will help assist with the story and also hide those mistakes or hide those different cuts where I want it to be something else or something smoother. A tip for using B-roll is to not just put it right at the end of a clip or right at the beginning of a clip, but rather a little bit before you end. The reason why you wanna do this is because it helps hide the cuts a little bit better. If you were to put a B-roll clip right at the end of a talking clip, what's gonna end up happening is people will pick up on that and people will probably realize that, okay, there's a cut right there. Whereas if you put it right before the end, a lot of times people won't be able to realize that and it'll just be a lot smoother. Tip number three will take such little time and is so little, but it makes or break your audio transitions. And that's to basically just adjust the end and start of each audio to give each new talking piece a seamless transition. And what I mean by that is as you can see here, in each of these talking pieces throughout the video, I have set up so that it's fading in or fading out and it's so subtle. I do it at such a little amount and by doing that at such a little amount, it just really helps transition your audio from one clip to the next. Another little tip to go with that is to actually drag your audio out a little bit longer than the clip so that basically you're not getting two different pieces of information. And what I mean by that is when you're watching a video, if it cuts from the video as well as the audio at the same time, your brain can't process that smoothly. Whereas if you have the audio fade out a little bit, and your video cuts a little bit before that, it's gonna be a lot easier for people to focus on the video and not get distracted by your transitions. And that's the biggest thing with the transition is it should be seamless, it should be something that people don't even realize. Our last and final tip, which is tip number four, is to avoid hard cuts by giving the interviewee room to breathe. What I mean by that is to simply not overuse your voiceover in your interviews or in your documentaries or even your brand videos. Now this can be done by having a B-roll clip play after the sentence and let the music increase a little bit and not have any talking pieces for a couple seconds. This just makes sure that the viewer isn't constantly hearing somebody's voice and is given room to breathe and accept the new information, look at the clips and the visuals without any talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these four tips, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey man, what are you editing? Oh, sorry, one sec, one more. Hey man, what are you editing?
Oh, wait, we'll do one more. I'm going to look at you. Sorry. Okay. Did you know that you could automatically sync up your clips in the computer? Fucking the computer? That's such a... Okay, wait, wait, I think we got to do... What if life could have looked different? <laughs> Brutopia, bro. Of course not, man. Oh, chips! Mint, bud. Alright, <laughs> that looks good, bro.